Hope he remembers me. Three years after U.S. Army Specialist Vance McFarland said goodbye to his canine partner, Icar, he's taking him home for good. Icar! Come on, buddy! <laughs> What's up? Huh? You wanna play? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> January 2012, McFarland and ICAR deployed to Afghanistan. ICAR is a Czech Shepherd trained to be a tactical explosive detection dog. We went to Afghanistan and found roadside bombs, IEDs. <laughs> it was like having, having a dog with you on deployment is almost like having a little bit of home, you know? A lot of people, other, other soldiers were jealous. You know, they'd always want to come up and pet ICAR. The two returned home that September. Good boy. When we walked off the planes at Fort Bragg, I had Icar long enough for them to take a picture before they took him away from me and sent him back to, uh, to go back through the TED program and back to Afghanistan. When Icar came home, a private contract company said they had work for him. Um, they did not, so they put them in a kennel. It was supposed to be a temporary stay, four or five weeks, that turned into 17 months. They did not pay the kennel owner, they, they um, kind of gave him a little bit of the runaround as well. Um, he could have done all kinds of things, just fed the dogs and kind of left them. Instead, he exercised these dogs, he cared for these dogs. He actually, he loved these dogs. So Mission Canine Rescue and the U.S. War Dogs Association stepped in, working to get Icar and 10 other pups back with the soldiers they helped protect. We don't know what they've been through. We don't understand it, but they all come back a little bit broken. And when they're reunited with their dogs like today, it's a piece of them that gets put back together. I love you. I love you. The groups worked to track down McFarland because he was Icar's original handler. It was kind of weird. Um, I got Facebook stalked, to be honest with you. People, I woke up one morning and I had all kinds of messages on Facebook and people were like, is this your dog? Were you a dog handler in the army? And I was like, yeah, that's my dog. What's going on? And then that's when I heard everything that he had been abandoned and uh, saved and that I get the chance to adopt him now. It's an emotional reunion for McFarland, who's all ready for five-year-old Icar to move in with him, his wife, and two other dogs. I'm so excited that you're home. Yeah, we bought some toys. Uh, we have other dogs, so we have lots of dog toys. We're actually going to go pick up all kinds of stuff for him. It's the retirement Icar deserves. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Everything you guys do. Uh, we're going to the lake this weekend, so he'll have a blast. Uh, he's going to live the rest of his retired life spoiled, really spoiled. <laughs>